Um, okay. Um, hello, Taurus. How are you? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing you guys weekly reading. I hope everybody's doing well. If you guys like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Okay, sit back, enjoy the reading. Um, I hope you can gain some clarity from the reading. Um, I hope something could help you in a situation. Okay. All right, so let's get into it. What I was hearing for you guys is binding, okay? Something is binding, all right? Um, something um, may not be, um, something may not be meant to be broken or something is meant to be broken. Either way, binding. I would say it's not meant to be broken because it's binding, okay? I'm hearing soul tie. So there could be a soul tie between you and someone, all right? And um, somebody could be in a situation where they're dealing with someone who is binding, who is like bonded to someone, but it's not to be broken. Somebody's in a situation where it's not to be broken. It can't be broken. It shouldn't be broken. Like somebody could be in a marriage, in that marriage, should not be tampered with it should not be broken it's meant to be it could be from the divine they're divinely meant to be together it could be that because of binding that's how i'm taking that something is not to be broken something is not to be tampered with so that could be a warning for someone i i don't know y'all take it out it resonates to you guys um i'm also hearing a soul tie you could be in a situation where it, there's a soul tie between you and someone maybe that person has somebody else maybe you have somebody else maybe you are bi binded to someone you're not to be um broken apart from someone and someone's trying to um break you up split you up from someone but you're not to be broken from that person you're binded to who you're with, all right? But you could be in a situation where it's a soul tied to someone else, all right? Okay, and maybe that situation you need to try to get out of being in a soul tie, if, especially if you're with someone else, if you're married or something of that nature. All right, because I'm hearing soul tie and I'm hearing binded. So that's what I have for you guys. So let's get the cards started and see what the cards have to say. Taurus's energy, please. Ooh, Taurus's energy, please. Tell me Taurus's energy. Taurus's energy. Taurus's energy. Taurus's energy. Okay. Okay, the first card out was the Eight of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Queen of Coins, Taurus energy here. That's your energy. You're in your reading, strong. There you go. The Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, let me get these. The Five of Coins is here. Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Ace of Wands. Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries energy. We have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy here. We have the Page of Coins, Earth. So you're in your reading very strongly. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Seven of Wands is here. Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. Then we have the Six of Cups, Cancer energy here. Okay, so you're, <sighs> Taurus, somebody is, oh, I see this real good, Taurus, somebody is making you think that they're stuck in a situation with an air sign, or this is an air sign that's making you feel like they're stuck, but they're not. They're just sitting there. There's an opening here. They could just get up and walk out. Look at this. Look at this opening. Look at them. They got the covering. They're disguising. They're hiding the truth from you. This person is hiding the truth. Look at this covering. 
probably with babyish ways. Um, they're playing on your emotions. Look at this babyish ways. Like they're hiding the fact that they're not really stuck. They know they're not stuck, but they're making you think that they're stuck in a situation. They could just get up and walk out, Taurus. Queen of Coins. They find you to be very nurturing. Like you may baby this person. You may baby this person. Like baby talk them or something. You're very nurturing to them. You make them feel good, all right? Um, this person could give you stability or something just to continue to keep the nourishment around, to keep your attention. You could want stability with this person, and they're making you believe that they're stuck somewhere, that they're not actually stuck, okay? This person could be with an air sign. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. Okay, five of coins is here. This person, um, they're lonely. They feel ignored. They feel like they're out in the cold. That is why this person is dealing with you. I'm just going to be very truthful with you. This person is a lonely person. They, they feel ignored. Maybe the person, if they're with somebody, they're not getting enough attention from this person. They're very attention needy. And you are giving them what they want. Okay, um, Ace of Wands is here. Okay, um, they do have, this person has creative ideas on how to have a passionate new beginning with you. But we know what this card is about. This is a very sexual card. This is a very intimate card. So they do have a lot of creative ideas about having a passionate new beginning with you. But that's it. It's just what it is, a passionate new beginning, a sexual new beginning, intimate new beginning, okay? There's no love here. Um, The Knight of Wands is here. This person is a player. This person may be a very emotionally distant type person as well. Um, This person is in and out. They may be even in and out with you as we speak. They may not, you know, give you what you give to them. Where you give them a lot of your attention, they may be in and out with you, you know? They're a player. You can't take this person serious. Page of Coins is here. Yeah, they may have told you they want a new beginning to grow with you. You can't take that serious. Seven of Wands is here. Okay, this person could be fending you off at this time. They're on one of their, their bouts where they're in and out with you, and they could be fending you off. Or the person they're with, if they're with someone, could be fending them off. And this is why they tell you these things. Six of Cups is here. This is a soulmate. They do feel like they knew you in another life or something like that. Um, They do see you as a friend. Like they have some type of bond with you. Queen of Cups, they could have emotions for you. Um, Queen of Cups is here. So they do have some type of emotions to you. They do feel like they have some type of connection to you, like a spiritual connection to you. They do feel that. Um, Eight of Coins is here. This is you. Where they, they could see you as working hard to rebuild stability with them. Or they could be working hard to rebuild it with you. Maybe you guys, where they were in and out with you, now they're coming back, trying to work on rebuilding stability with you. They're working hard at rebuilding it. Where maybe this is something they did to you in the past, ignored you, or, I mean, um, they were in and out with you in the past, where now they're trying to come back and fix it. Um, Eight of Cups, yeah, after walking away from you. So this is somebody that walked away from you in the past. Eight of Cups is here. Cancer energy, they walked away from you in the past. Now they're coming back wanting to work on rebuilding stability with you. Maybe they, they they had you very emotional. Maybe they had you up and down in your emotions. Queen of Cups energy, you can have Scorpio in your chart or they have it in their chart. Um, The Knight of Coins is here. Yeah, they're planning, strategizing how to offer you some type of stability. Okay, but it's not much. Okay, it's just something to get a new, passionate new beginning with you. 
So you have to be careful because you don't want to be hurt. You don't want this person playing with your emotions. So be careful. Um, Taurus's energy. Show me Taurus's energy. Show me more of Taurus's energy. The devil is here. Okay. Um, this person has some addictions they need to even they need to work on concerning themselves. They need to heal themselves from some type of addictions that they have. Before you even accept this offer that you come in with, okay? Page of Wands, yeah. They're, they're having creative ideas on how to get a passionate new beginning with you, okay? But they have addictions that they need to heal before you think about moving forward with them. Um, The Moon card, they're very deceptive. This person is going to come in and be in deceptive, hiding secrets. The Moon card, Cancer Energy. You're dealing with a water sign. The high priestess is here. You need to use your intuition. I'm telling you, because this person is coming in, deceiving you, being deceptive, hiding secrets. They're not a very expressive person either. Um, the wheel of fortune is here. This person's gonna bring a lot of karma in your life, and not good karma either. They could be dealing with some karma that they need to finish dealing with as well before you even embark on a new beginning with them king of coins is here okay capricorn energy yes this person you are very highly attracted to this person they're beautiful to you they're fine to you you see them as very successful um very independent strong smart maybe they give you um financial advice or something of that nature maybe they give you good advice in areas you need advice in, okay, and you're you're very attracted to this person, all right. But this person is dealing with some karma, so you don't want their karma to turn into your karma, do you? So be careful. Um, Taurus is in it. You may have felt this person was a gift to the divine, from the divine to you, stability-wise. Maybe they give you stability. Maybe they help you in certain situations, give you money here and there. Um, Ten of Swords is here. This person is betraying you. They're backstabbing you. There is some betrayal here. The moon card is here. They're being deceptive. You're going to find out that this person is betraying you or they're going to betray you. Okay, Taurus is energy here. Um, the four swords is here. Yeah, this person is gonna betray you. You were gonna they're gonna have you angry, upset. You're going to be lost for words in a situation when you find this out. Four swords in it. You're going to be at a loss for words. Six of coins is here. But you just may let this person slide because they give you everything you want or need. Like they give you stability. On um, the star card, or they're gonna come in to you, giving you everything you want in the hoping to heal things with you after they betrayed you. Queen of Swords is here. After betraying you, yeah, they, yeah, Queen, you need to keep your guard up, or they're hoping that you let your guard down. Um. Or this person is giving everything, giving all, you know, everything to an air sign to heal things with them because this person has cut them off. So this could be where they're working towards, giving everything to a Aquarius energy. 
So you may find this out. You're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed. You're going to be a loss for words in a situation when you find out that this person is given to an air sign. They're hoping to heal things with an air sign and Aquarius energy. This person has cut them off. This person has their guard up with them. Um, the Nine of Cups is here. But this person is very nurturing to them. They feel victorious with this air sign. So they're, they're, they give this air sign everything they want or need. It's like they spoil this air sign. This Aquarius energy. So this is what is being hidden from you. This person is making like they want to be with you, but they're working on things with an air sign. They're trying, it's like they're trying to get back in the air signs, the graces, where they're not telling you that. They're pretending like they want to be with you, but they're working on things with an air sign. Nine of Swords, they cannot move forward without this air sign. They're stuck on this air sign. Three of Cups, they're working on reuniting with this air sign. Or they're telling you they want to reunite with you, but they can't move forward without this air sign. Two of Wands is here. They're trying to make a difficult decision. They're stuck between a hard rock and however you say that. Yeah, this person is, is at, try, uh, at a two of Wands. They're trying to make a difficult decision on which way to go in this situation. They don't want to let go of this Aquarius energy. They are holding on to this person because this, they're victorious with this person. They feel good with this person. This person takes care of them or something of this nature. The Nine of Cups. Or they're holding on to you because you're very nurturing to them. So that's the only reason they hold on to you. At the same time, they can't move forward past the air sign. Okay? But at the same time, they're telling you that they, they want to um, reunite with you. They could be telling you they want to travel, go places with you, you know, go out with you, do things with you. But they're here trying to make a difficult decision. They're trying to make a choice. Okay? So this is what's going on, Taurus. I hope I can help someone. All right? Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. I hope I gave somebody some type of clarity. I'm out. This was your weekly. Be good. Until next time.